the rotator is going to run there. And it's pretty much from after they killed Storm, it's pretty much a race for who gets there first. In this case, it was Navi, and they ran in, they got a kill on Fraud. At the same time, Zeus, who was one of the initial guys who went in her first, fell back, and instead of all five guys going Ivy, he wanted to be their eyes around the middle. Because if you send five guys one way towards Ivy, you always have that mindset that they could flank you, or that you don't know where they could be. But if you just break it apart into four guys one way and one guy the other, you could tell that that one, that one guy can be your eyes and tell you how, how, what's going on on the other side. So in this instance... It happened to be Zeus who came out middle, he cleared out the close e-box areas, pink fives, all that, and he knew right away that there should be one guy Z. He grabbed that guy's attention, didn't let the Z guy feel comfortable to push out, which was a good job by him, but he was a little bit unaware of the fact that there could have been one tower, especially since they got the Ivy guy peeking down. So I feel like he should have been a little bit more aware that there could be a guy tower, but I guess it didn't really matter much anyway since the tower guy's hiding since his Ivy guy died and the Z guy is getting shot at. As soon as they took out Fraud in the back rows, they ran to the back of bomb train, planted the bomb right away, and instead of pushing out towards the middle area of the map, the outside area, they took over the CT ramp because now it's 2 vs 4 with nothing in GFN left. GFN was hiding tower, not giving away his spot, and nothing was playing in Z. Once Zeus spotted nothing in Z, he played the back, uh, back of 5 a little bit safer, but ended up giving Jordan a chance to kill him by, I guess, challenging him a little bit. A little something that really made Navi win this round, or that shows that Navi knows how to come out Ivy together the right way is when you see them come out, you see how three guys rush out towards the back row and back bomb train, not all four. The last guy, which happened to be C9, ended up just staying by the Ivy and just covering the right side for anyone to flank them, which makes the team feel comfortable that nobody's going to come behind them and kill them from behind. So he kind of just stuck to covering the right side, grabbing the Z guy's attention, making him feel a little bit nervous not to peek out. But he was also unaware that there could be a guy tower, and good for nothing did a good job of hiding and then doing his best to, once they thought everything's clear, to getting a kill. Sometimes teams will even allow you to get two kills from tower like that, but Navi didn't let that happen. Again, organized little collective pistol rounds like this. They don't work right from the start. It's something that you kind of need to get down. You need to have a formula of taking things, like either it's Ivy or Inner or wherever they decide to go. There's formulas always, you know, like first guy entry killing, second guy playing off him, covering him, third guy doing the same. If there's four, the fourth guy watches their back. All these type of collective passive pistol rounds where you find out information and then just call a strat. It's all based on uh, being on the same page, on what to do, how to react to certain scenarios, to keep in mind where the CTs are playing, and if one's playing here most likely the other one's playing there like for example if Lurpus is playing close inner on the pistol round that means that there's one playing Z most likely or there could even be one hiding it up you have to be aware of things like that and talk about it with your team to make sure you're on the same page when that happens what to be aware of and who's doing what and that takes a lot of practice a lot of talking with one another and teams who have the chance to be able to either, either live together or talk to one another a lot or just put in that work during boot camps or whenever you can they end up being very successful and it turns out to be like almost like a movie for them when they're playing they're playing the round things are happening just like they talked about so they all know how to react to it already and it gives them confidence because one teammate instead of making sure that the other guy knows he already he's already confident that his teammate knows how to react and so does the teammate on his right so everybody on this team knows how to react and it just gives you that confidence to just focus on your own game and play using your individual skill and sticking to the game plan and the formula and just being on the same page as a team. Unlike teams who are unorganized, you know, teams who don't have chemistry, they get nervous, they start saying, oh, you know, what if my teammate doesn't know this, I need to make sure he's doing this right, especially leaders, and it, that's why leaders tend to be on the bottom sometimes, because they're too busy focused ev on everyone and making sure everyone's doing a good job, instead of focusing on their own game and just using their own skill. But then again, when teams fully organized and has everything prepared and on the same page, that's when the leaders usually stand out and frag hard, because then they're playing their games and it's, they're just like another player in the team. Alright, now I'm going to talk about what I think went wrong for EG this pistol round and what I think they did and how they could have stopped this strat. First thing, just from seeing what I saw before, I would say that when Lurpus is playing a spot like that, he shouldn't commit to giving the terrorist a, a shot. He should just spot it, maybe jiggle peek, and have a fallback plan so he can spot them, then fall back to a spot and have his teammate Fraud rotate from Z and cover his lower so then at least he has backup and they can stay alive and play with the team to retake the round this round he gave him kind of a free kill by really committing to trying to kill the first guy peeking down that uh, lower ramp or walking into that brown hall's hallway that's one thing 
Fraud did a good job at spotting Z, making sure that GFN can get tower, just pretty much escorting him, making sure that everything's quiet down, no rushes are going on or anything crazy like that. And once Lerp has died, he did a good job of rotating, watching the lower ramp first, then going towards upper and being aware that they could now, at this point, sneak, they have enough time to be able to sneak out upper and might be sneaking through. He did everything he can that round to be able to still win the round, even after being down a number. Once they called Ivy and Inner was clear, he cleared out Inner and then rotated to CT ramp as fast as he can to be able to secure the back rows, but he got there a second or two too late and Navi was a little bit one, a little bit more prepared and one step ahead of him and had three guys waiting for him to run up. So nothing really that he could have done about that round. As we move on to Storm, you can see he's just doing the regular spotting Ivy again. I feel like Storm did the same thing as Lurpus. Instead of just spotting and falling back to a more passive angle, he kind of spotted it and tried to commit to fighting one, not being aware that Navi, especially Navi, is a team who likes to buy nades and always has nades primed, ready to nade as soon as their first guy shoots. So that's exactly what happened to him. He's spotting it, spotting it, and then first guy jumps across and instead of him falling back, he actually pulled out his nade and continued staying there to even fight him. That was not good. He committed to fighting him and that's why he got caught with that nade as he was trying to run away. And because he got caught with that nade, they ran so fast to the back, they took advantage of getting him and got there way before Fraud could even rotate. How the round should have looked like was Storm should have spotted one Ivy and fell back to the post area. And then once he heard footsteps and them rushing, either delay flash them or fall back to the bomb train. At the same time calling Ivy rush or calling some Ivy for Fraud to rotate to the back ramp. So now they have two guys covering those back rows and nobody dying, nobody getting picked off. That would give a chance. As you saw, you saw Jordan ended up getting a kill on Zeus and GFN getting a kill on C9. Same things would have happened. Jordan would have ended up getting a kill on Zeus the same way, unless Zeus would have played that differently. I don't know, but... If Jordan got that same kill on Zeus and GFN killed C9, most likely Fraud and Storm would have been able to kill one or kill two in the back rows and be a little bit more set up for them if they just fell back instead of committing and fighting people one versus one. And the whole round would have looked differently. If Lurpus played that smart too and inner and didn't commit to fighting that guy and stayed alive, he could have possibly flanked ladder or maybe Navi wouldn't have done that Ivy strat. Because I, the way I see it is Navi probably has a certain game plan where if they get a pick somewhere on the map, they have uh, they like to go towards Ivy especially on pistol rounds. I could be wrong but that's probably one thing that they have as I would say goals throughout a pistol because whenever you get a kill like I said there's usually two more rotating to that spot and the other two are spotting the other site to make sure it's not a fake or whatever and they usually don't have much backup so it's better to regroup hit one thing fast after you got a kill somewhere alright let me just continue throughout the round as you could see that once Navi took out Rod and back ramp they took over spawn ramp and didn't give them a chance to maybe nade them or catch them from the back from like weird spots outside or some kind of, kind of hidden spots on their trains or something they just they just gave them all the whole area and focused on holding CT ramp and let Edward flank them who were trying to flank Navi actually it was it's a little confusing, but if you see, Jordan was playing in Z. Once he got Zeus, he pushed out because he knew the Navi planted back a bomb train, and so did GFN. They both pushed up towards the bomb train, and Edward knew that there's one guy Z and one guy Tower, and they're going to move towards the bomb train now, so they're not going to be covering their own backs now because they think that their backs are clear since they got the, the main guys who were covering their backs. So they moved up towards the bomb train, and Edward ran around to flank them now from Z and ended up killing Jordan from behind, and then GFN was just stuck. He had nothing really he could have done. He had two guys on the ramp waiting for him. And yeah, and I w just wanted to show you guys what EG did wrong to lose that round. Just in case people don't see. Because, you know, a lot of teams and a lot of players, when they watch people and they watch matches, they assume that, like, oh, you know, this guy's score is bad. But they don't never look, look at exactly why teams are losing rounds. You know, the whole half could be different if you just win one pistol round. You get momentum off that and you get, you get so much out of it. So it's very important to play your A game on pistol round and play discipline. Don't play cocky. Don't play confident in your aim don't play too committed to killing people or having one-to-one -one battles stick to trying to make everything easy for yourself and to regroup with your team and to retake sites once it becomes second nature to play in a smart and correct way the consistent way that's when people's individual skills start shining because people are just more confident hope you guys uh, learned maybe a different way to look at counter-strike or a different way to approach it approach mid-game approach uh like learning from your mistakes and demos a lot of teams and a lot of players don't do that but you can get all your answers out of demos that's why there's teams who, are, who come from third world countries who don't have a chance to scrim against good teams and still pull upsets and still beat good teams because like i said all your answers are right there in demos so if people want to get good people want to get better just just do it it's all in your hands Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this, hope you guys learned something, and I look forward to doing some more of these later on in the future. Thank you, and good luck.
Hey guys, this is Benno from winout.net. Today I'm going to show you the uh, analysis of a pistol round between EG and Navi on DE train from Arbor Lake Cup Dallas 2010. It was a best of three series, but this is just one map on DE train and the pistol round. I'm going to explain what Navi did to win this round, their thought process, how it worked out for them, and what EG could have done to make it easy for themselves to actually win this round. So it starts off with Navi doing a similar pistol buy, the same way they usually do on most maps. They drop a couple of USPs, and in this particular instance it turns out to be um, Edward with USP armor, Starx with USP armor, Zeus with uh, USP flash, and Markolov and C9 with Glock, no armor, and a nade. They start off doing a regular hold pistol round just in case CTs decide to do any kind of aggressive push or maybe push Ivy or push Enter or something like that. Very consistent pistol because you never want to do something right off the bat, some kind of straight action type of pistol round because you don't know what the CTs are capable of doing or what they're going to do that round. So it's better to secure all the entry points and make sure the CTs are playing honest and not doing anything out of the ordinary before you decide what you want to do. Basically find out information. That was their goal in this round and as you can see they have all exits covered. Zeus and Edward end up going towards white walls to clear out any kind of inner pushes and to make sure nobody's playing aggressive in brown hall's inner. So they clear that out. Zeus is aware of, if you watch him entry kill, and you can see he's aware of the close brown hall's close steps in white walls, uh, any CTs playing in little close angles like that, or even up lower ramp, the little close angle. He's aware of that one too. He clears that out and finally he jiggle peeks the lower and ends up killing Lurpus who is playing aggressive and trying to spot quick inner pistol. So once they got that kill, instead of rushing in and doing something, they obviously fall back and use the number to their advantage. Now it's a 5 versus 4, and they're going to try to play smart and let EG regroup and play inner now. So they end up having less guys outside, and they have a chance to do whatever they want. And don't give EG a chance to even it up by just running into inner after getting that kill and doing something inconsistent or random with just two guys. So it was a good job by Navi after getting that kill to fall back. Very smart, very collective, and in control, I would say. Now let me move on to the other side of the map. They have Starik with a USP and armor holding the Ivy push. As you can see, he doesn't run up towards Ivy because there's a chance CTs can push it or have a little pop flash set up and CTs push out or even nade the end of it. It's not worth losing HP when you can just play from a little further back because, again, their goal is not to take over Ivy or make a presence there. Their goal is just to lock down all pushes and first find out and make sure CTs are playing honest. As you can see, C9 kind of just is support, ready to back up any kind of Ivy push or inner or uh, mid push. Markolov was holding the middle, making sure nobody pushes up towards the middle. Once they got that first initial pick, Markolov rotated towards inner by instinct. I guess maybe some, maybe that's their main formula to sometimes either fake inner or do something like that. But you could see him fall fall back to inner and then quickly come back towards Ivy because I'm guessing this is where Zeus actually called the strat. He said, okay, we just got a kill on Lurpus inner. Most likely they're going to have one guy watching inner, maybe even two over rotating. They should only have one watching Ivy at this moment, if any at all. They're, they're going to eventually set up with two outside and one in Z and one inner. But the most consistent thing to hit after you get a pick like that would be Ivy in that scenario. So as you can see, he called with fall back towards Ivy. They end up creeping out, walking towards Ivy, and Storm was spotting it. Starx entry kills with the USP armor first, just in case they nade. He ends up shooting Storm up really badly to low health. At the same time, I think it's uh, Omakarov who throws a nade instantly because that's why they buy those nades. Because the USP's quick headshot or uh, lower the guy and the other guys behind them nade right away, finish him off. So they end up killing Storm at Ivy. At this point, Navi knows that they got one kill in her, they got Storm at Ivy. Now they probably, the CTs are probably playing 1Z, which should be Fraud, who is watching in her now and quick to rotate to Z. And they should have one more playing outside either tower or under tower because Storm was spotting Ivy. So if Storm was spotting Ivy, he won't be spotting Ivy with his middle completely open. So the only way he'll be spotting Ivy is if somebody's playing aggressive on the middle. Somewhere either tower, under it, or maybe under one of the trains, pink 5 or pink 6. So that's their game plan. They're running out Ivy after they got Storm with that mindset that there should be one guy to the right and probably one in Z. And that's exactly what happened. But nothing is actually in Z right now trying to spot everything. Fraud rotated to back ramp because he's the only closest person to be able to cover the back rows so the terrorists don't get to back bomb train and plant the bomb. So he ended up getting to back of the ramp, but Navi was there, was one step ahead of him. As soon as they took out Storm, they rushed the back rows because they knew that their uh, secondary inner player or Z rotator is going to run there. And it's pretty much from after they killed Storm, it's pretty much a race for who gets there first. 
In this case, it was Navi, and they ran in. They got a kill on fraud. At the same time, Zeus, who was one of the initial guys who went inner first, fell back. And instead of all five guys going Ivy, he wanted to be their eyes around the middle. Because if you send five guys one way towards Ivy, you always have that mindset that they could flank you or that you don't know where they could be. But if you just break it apart into four guys one way and one guy the other, you could tell that that one that one guy can be your eyes and tell you how how what's going on on the other side. So in this instance, it happened.